everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm up at, uh, I've been awake since 3 o'clock when the Great Horn Owl couple had a hoot session. <laughs> Actually, I was awake before I heard them, but it was very interesting to listen to them. The background noise of this video is the Roomba because it goes off at 3 a.m. and it's 3.55, so it's still working. All right, I'm working on the um, signatures for this colored coffee dyed traveler's journal with the five signatures that are getting fatter every day. I hope there's enough box here for this. So I did some rearranging in my studio yesterday. Not real happy with the way it's all turned out, but you know, I'm gonna live with it for a while and let it sink in, and then I'm gonna redo it. <laughs> so um, I was looking um, through drawers and rearranging things and I came upon millions of these little bitty squares different colors textures and there, there's I, I have a big container full of them in one of the drawers that I moved the paper stuff for um, journals closer to me instead of further away and I decided that I needed to use these things in my journals the color journals. So I went through and um, picked out colors according to which ones I like best for what color I thought they would fit with. And so these are the pink ones. Oh, there are more in the drawer. I've got more to pick from. So I thought instead of cutting tabs, I'm going to use these for my tabs on my pages because why not? I already have them. They're here. They're ready. And I need to use them up. I can't bear to throw them away. I think these were larger pieces of art that I cut up into one inch squares. I think these are one inch squares. Let's see, where's the ruler? I think these are inchies. Voila. Why, yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> they're inchies. Um, and I have hundreds of them. So now they'll be called tabs. So you can tell they were cut. Look, these two were cut from the same piece of paper. But was there another one under there? No, okay. These two were cut from the same piece of paper. And this one I think belongs in that same group. This one not so much. These are for blue and this is for the purple one. I was thinking about trying to incorporate this one in there too. It's got little pink flowers on it. It's very girly. Um, let me show you what I've done since the last time I did a video. I rearranged some things, took some things away and added some things. Um, I did some stenciling that did not go as lovely as I expected. I used a dirty makeup brush and it didn't turn out very pink. <laughs> not really pink look <laughs> so and I only have one pink pad no way I, I got a bunch of little bitty ones but only one large one I use so I took this and cut this then um, I had a watercolor heart set aside so I just glued the heart on top of there um, then I had I, I disassembled this last time it was really thick so I took some pages out of there I added a little envelope I added a, a doodle flower sticker that I have not stuck on anything but the sukwang's on the back ready to go I think maybe last time I showed the video I had the G Kerr um, swinging holder what do you call it I, I don't know closure that's the word all right, so I took two sets of pages out of here because it was just too fat. I found this in the drawer of pre, uh, you know, bought ephemera, and I glued it in there because it was nice and tall and it actually fit the page. So I haven't done too much to this stuff on the inside. I will get to it. I put those in this little pocket, and then it just swings over and closes. I just love these closures. They are great. Um, what else? Uh, I moved this, <coughs> excuse me, I have moved this 
<clears throat> excuse me, again, I have moved this two or three times now. What's in here is another little, you know, scrap pad with different kinds of paper. And that's some kind of a, I think it's a wish sticker. All right, so that goes inside here. I've like tried this two or three different places in the book. So for now, it's going under the hidden paper clip until I can figure out where to put it. I um, sewed around the, oh, no, this was already done. I found this in the drawer full of pre-made pockets and I just glued it in here. Not crazy about, you know, all of it, but hey, it's pink and I guess it'll do. I glued in three, cut and glued in three sets of pockets, sewed around them, glued them in, and then I just put random, this is from the same collection this little thing came from. They all came in the same deal. So I thought, well, all right, for continuity's sake, I'll put these in here because they're from the same collection and Lord knows I'm not gonna use them for anything else. So I might as well stick them in here, right? So I just, they're little tickets and little banner cut stuff. So I stuck that in the top pocket. I did have something in this bottom one, but I took it out and moved it. Oh, that would be this. All right, so then I I did this a while ago. It's a sticky. I did uh, rubbing with, oh, what did I rub this with? I can't remember. It wasn't a crayon. It was something else. What was it? I can't remember. Anyway, so it's one of those um, textured, what is it called? Archaeology, no. I can't remember. It's from Seven Gypsies or... Some, something like that. So I just cut the, I did a bunch of them on deli paper, so I cut the squares out. They're the same size as the actual tile I did the rubbing on. And I just folded it in half, and I thought, well, that'll make a nice little thing of interest in here. So I folded that in half, and it will be stitched in when I stitch the book together. So I've got that there. Then I took washi tape and made a hinge here. Um, this is made out of, I think this is some kind of a new fangled onion skin. Not crazy about it. It's very textured. And if, when I was a kid, onion skin was almost like um, tracing paper. What we use tracing paper now or a very opaque um, vellum. Not as plasticky. You know, vellum is kind of, it's got, plas it's plastic. And this has got a texture almost like a dryer sheet <laughs> so I did a bunch of these hydrangeas on here and I made a, a long envelope this was for some other project I had in mind and if you guys have been following me a while maybe I don't know if I did this on YouTube or not but I, for iCAD I did 61 different tags so that I didn't have to make any tags um, in the next 50 years <laughs> So I thought about those this morning. They were in some of the group things that I moved from drawer to drawer. And I found um, this tag in there and I thought, well, okay, I will pop it in here until I find another place. So it's inside the envelope with pink washi tape. And then I did, it's not straight, but I did the best I could. Um, I used coffee dyed paper and did it on this side. And then I realized that when I glued it on here, you're going to see that. So then I had to take strips. I glued strips of washi tape on top of the coffee dyed paper and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's in there. It's not going anywhere. There's that one. Nothing. Nothing. Um, this is an um, envelope I made out of the rubbings. This one was done on, um, what do you call it? Typing paper. Then I found another one of these tags that I did for ICAD. I did it, was it this year or last year? I can't remember. No, I did not do ICAD this year. This was ICAD last year. But I posted them on um, Instagram every day when I did them. So there's another one, so I thought I'd put that in there. That kind of changes the dynamic of the page a little bit. Kind of pumps it up a little, color-wise. And then here's the other half of that. Oh, and these guys are creeping in before I can get a chance to do anything with them. And then, like I said, I haven't done too much to these. I've been distracted by other things like, you know, purging and shopping. <laughs> so 
So I was thinking about using these for tabs and just doing them back to back. I like my... So, <laughs> just about the time I'm getting into my groove, the SIM card is full on the camera. Ugh. So I had to delete some stuff off of there, and here we are back where we started. So um, I was talking about tabs, and I do love tabs. I don't know why, but I've really gotten into tabs. It's just another thing to look at in the book, another interest, point of interest, I guess. And I know a lot of people put their tabs on the sides, but I like to put mine on the tops because I don't like them to hit the wall because a lot of them will stick uh, outside the box the, or the cover and I don't want them to whack the wall so I have more height between my bookshelves and then I do the width of the bookshelf so I would I put mine at the top I mean everybody's different but I like mine at the top so I think before I do anything else crazy see if I do this I need to take these out of here and I'm going to glue these on. I'm not going to round the corners or anything on them. And I am going to put them back to back because I can. <laughs> so let's see. Let's put this one way far over here. Let's start out way over. I'm going to roll it over and stick glue on the other side. I don't know how people feel about um, tabs. I did a book where I did a ton of tabs and each tab had a little jewel had little tab jewelry. Hang on a second. Let me reach up and get it while that's drying. And I don't oops. And I don't put it on the bookcase, you know inward it sits outward so you can see all the tab jewelry so I have never done filled anything in this I just glued everything together and each page has tab jewelry I think that's what I'm calling it I don't know uh, I can't remember who I learned this from I think it might have been G Kerr G I Kerr K E R R she comes up with some really great stuff I don't think she gets enough credit for her creativity. Um, so I had a bunch of jewelry stuff from when I had a jewelry making business and I've got tape sticking to my finger. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was glue because it was shiny. Nope, it's cellophane tape. I did a package yesterday or pulled tape off a, oh, I pulled tape off of a um, stamp pad I got and I guess I touched it again this morning and the tape wasn't off all the way. Anyway, so here, it are all the tab jewelries and one fell off the other day so I'm gonna have to replace it but this was a fun way to use up jewelry that I didn't want to get rid of but I also didn't want to make you know oh, you can't see that I didn't want to make jewelry out of it this all the little things the rocks and things and doodahs I, ha I think I have a video on doing this I just had such a great time with this, but I don't put it on the bookshelf, you know, the way a typical way a book goes. Because first of all, who would put this up against the wall where you can't see all this work you did? I mean, that's kind of crazy, right? So I did all this, and these are papers that I, I hand dyed. I had a good time playing with silicone. I have a mold and I filled the mold up with silicone, let it sit for, I don't know if it sat over, I think it sat overnight and then peeled them out, then laid them on the white paper and then poured the coffee on it and let it sit overnight, then peeled this up and let the paper dry the rest of the way. Those were so much fun, but they take forever. And I no have patience, as you can see. <laughs> This, oh, I just love the paper in this book. I don't know if I'll ever be able to use this book for anything except for just to look at all the jewelry on it because I just love the paper. Just love my paper. Pop 
pocket with vellum. They're just so pretty. Just so pretty. I tried to use up as many things as I could and I still ended up with a ton of jewelry accessories. Some of them have gone on to a new home to become steampunk items that will be sold at a Renaissance Fair in New York. So better they go to a, another home where they won't just sit in a closet for ages and they'll be made into something wonderful that brings somebody else some pleasure and happiness and get displayed. This is a G Kerr idea, but instead of just using the pointed one like I showed you in the pink, I took a leaf because these were all leaves on here and I used a leaf as the fastener. I thought that was so clever. Eh. Okay. Sometimes I actually come up with, yeah, okay. Anyway, so here's one. It's a button that it just slides down into it. You don't have to wrap anything and it's not high profile. Oh, I do love this book. Mm -mm -mm. I think this is one of my better works. There's more jewelry. I haven't seen the, where's the one that fell off? There's one in here that fell off. I don't know where it is. This one is really, maybe I fixed it and I don't remember. Even smaller pieces of paper will go well in a book. I really, oh, I know it. It might have been this one because this one's heavily in here. I mean, I really put it on there because I think this is one of the ones that might have fallen off. So there we go. Book jewelry. And I, I wish I could show you. There you go. So when I put it on the bookshelf, I set it so you can see when it's sitting up, you can see all these in the light and they shake every time I bump the bookshelf or take something off. Let me put them all down there. There we go. Let's make sure they're all dangling down. Isn't that cool? Anyway, I digress. Um, so I thought about doing that on these, except for I think that it would interfere with opening and closing the signature. And if I was going to put the tabs on the side, I probably would do it like I did the other one and put a hole in it and put some kind of jewelry on it. Listen, you know how they talk about people's art evolving? I've really come from the depths. <laughs> I, I never would dream that I would sew lace on a book. I never dreamed that I would do things that look very feminine and very girly. I don't know what's happened to me. <laughs> Something has gone terribly wrong. All right, so I'm going to do another one. I, these two are not going to match, but oh, wait, let me put these back in here before I forget. All right. Maybe I'll do cutesy pink on this side and the dark pink on this side because I have nothing yet so it doesn't matter. All right, let's do the cutesy side. Did I tell you guys how much I love this glue? I had to get a replacement bottle of it and evidently I'm not the only one who likes the glue because it's taken a little longer to replace it than when I thought it would. This stuff is great. And I'm used to using PVA, so maybe I'll save PVA for other projects and just use this glue on everything else. Okay, there's that. I'm trying to, trying to stagger them. I think it'll look cool with all the different colors staggered. All right, um, oh, Roomba's done. The Roomba is done. I don't think there's any more pink ones in this this group here. Oh, she's talking back. I don't see anything more pink. Let me pull out more from the drawer. Okay. 
and we can rifle through. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, here's this one with the flowers on it in the book. Told you I had more. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> I cut up pieces. They, you know, they say, don't throw stuff away. Just make it small. It's cuter. Uh-huh. And then you have piles of small that you're trying to spend all your time trying to figure out how to use and how to get rid of them. All right, there's some more. Oh, I do like this one. But is that more pink than purple? Magenta. I have plenty of blue ones. I'm not worried. Oh, see, mm -mm, that one go there. I'm not worried about those. Since I'm not really a dedicated pink person. Um, there might not be as many to pick from. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. I cut these up into one inch squares. I don't know what this is. This is just crazy. Anyway, so there's a more of the little inches I cut up and see, you don't throw anything away. You just put it in a plastic bag and put it in a drawer and forget about it. There's that. Because I truly had forgotten I had these. All right, so then the next thing is, they tell you, oh, well, make twenties, which is two inches by two inches. So then, <laughs> I have a collection of these. <laughs> oh my Lord, what was I thinking? Oh, that's a blank one. And these can become tags. These can become fillers into pockets. You can make a little book out of them. It would be a very small little book. Oh, there's another blank one. How did that happen? Oh, whoa. Oh, there we go. That's much better. There's, see, that's, this would be a really nice one for my purple book. All right, for my purple signature. Let's put that one over there. Oh, there's another one. Wow, you know when you rifle through your stuff, you find some cool things. I think my yellow might look need some punch there. I'm gonna pump it up. Oh, look, there's one of the. Oh, sh there we go. You know, I think everybody ought to clean out their stash at least once a year to find new stuff. <laughs> Honestly, you you have all this stuff you've collected over the years and you forget you have it. You don't see it out of sight, out of mind. Here's for the green book. Okay, so we have green, 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 green. I'm supposed to be looking for pink. Well, there's a pink one. It's not very attractive, but we can alter that. I'm going to put that with my pink, even though it's purpley. The blue ones I have no problems with. I can see the same paper I cut it from. It's all coming together. Oh, wait. There's another one of these. Nope. No. No. Uh, there. You think that's bad? I have hearts like this too. <laughs> okay, let me go get the hearts. Oh, there's that pesky thing again. Okay, so while I'm going down the rabbit hole, let's talk about using these. I. Zin I, I doodled all over piece. That's not one. I doodled all over some paper. Oh, these are um, card stocks from, or these are hearts cut from cards that I didn't want to get rid of because they were from people for special occasion stuff. And you know, I don't want to keep the whole card, but I kept a heart punch from it. So some of these are just cards, but there are some that are doodles from, oh my goodness, these things God, probably got to be 10 years old. I was making a mobile and it, maybe most, uh, most of these I think might be just the card canister. I think it is. These are mostly oh, from postcards and cards of some sort. Ads. This is Land of Lakes butter right there. <laughs> All right, I get the wrong, got the wrong tin. I have two tins of, of hearts. Oh, wait, there's a tangle. There's one right there. 
mostly these are just pieces of cardboard. Probably need to find a project for all these little hearts because like they're 10 years old. I mean, you can only hang on to this stuff for so long. I say that as I say they're 10 years old. Let me go get the other 10. Okay, so here's the other one. These are a combination of paper and metal. You guys can go over here. So these were all tangled on sheets. And then on the back of the sheet, I had, uh, I think this was Tim Holtz, some kind of a sticky metal. It's a very thin metal and then it has a sticky back on it and then you lay it on top of your paper. So I ran this, the paper was white on one side, I think it was cardstock on one side, white cardstock on one side, and then that sticky metal stuff. Then I ran it through the embosser, through my cuddle bug, and embossed it. Then I took alcohol inks and just smeared it all over everything. I had a great time. Each of these has two holes in them because they were meant to be mobiles. So one would hang, you know, sort of like they do the origamis that hang from the ceiling, a thousand origamis. Well, this is kind of the same concept. These were hearts that were in a mobile. So all of these are doodled on every one of them. There's a different kind of doodle, you know, different colors, different shapes. And these are 10 years old because I took a class with Suzanne McNeil at Art and Soul one year in Virginia Beach. And I had one day off from work, so I got lucky that her class just happened to be on the day I was off from work. And I signed up for the class. And then I went home and just doodled my brains out on everything that wasn't nailed down. And there's the fruit of my efforts. So... One of these days, I will put these into a mobile. I'm not going to put them in my books because they have the holes in them. I could use these for jewelry to hang off the edge of the book, but honestly, that's kind of tedious, and I'm not doing tedious at the moment. So there's those. Boy, have we gone down a rabbit hole. <laughs> I just wanted to show you any progress I made on the thingamabobbies. Anywho, all right, so that'll be it for this time, I guess. I don't know. I look through here to try to find more pink cards. I've got a lot of blues and greens. Evidently, I was in a blue-green period, <laughs> like Picasso. Ooh, there's a lot of blue in here. Holy crud. Yellow, blues, kind of purple. There's another one. This is based on um, art inspired by Rebecca Blair. If you guys do not follow her on Pinterest, you should. If you like this kind of drawing geometric type stuff, she does great work. She's from Ireland or Scotland. I think she's from Ireland. She does beautiful stuff, doodle stuff. And it's not Zentangly type stuff either. This was part of a whole picture that I cut apart. Let's see, this one goes here. Because there's the, nope, maybe not. Hmm, is there a fourth one in there? E -ne 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 -ne. No, I think I only did three. So these three fit together. I might have cut off something else. That I don't think that belongs there like that. And this one goes over here, so maybe it does. This goes there. Because I can see the pieces where I cut it. And then this, I think, goes here. Although one can't be sure. This was last year. A lot of water's gone under that old gray bridge. So then I cut the piece in part, apart, and then I have a punch that does this. And cut them apart. And ta-da, I got three tags for the price of one. Let's see, this is a green one, maybe yellow. Green, maybe yellow. I can't even talk about that one. Ugh. 
I did see some stuff that was pink in there, but it just wasn't what I was looking for when I thumbed through here. Sixty-one of these. I won't have to make tags for a while, right? <laughs> Purpley buttons, stickers with clusters, circles, lovely butterfly. I can't believe I, oh, it's a napkin. I was like, oh, that's really pretty. It's a napkin. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm out of pink ones. So the only other pink one I have is this one. It looks very vintage rustic looking. So I, I will put this one in the book. So this one, eh. So eventually, all these squares and things will go in the book. This will go in here. I didn't want to put this in here. I think I might have to do this with a paper clip on a reinforced thing. I might have to do that on paper clip. I don't think I want to hide this right here. You know what I mean? But if I do this, well, it flips over. Let's see. Maybe we can find a better one. Oh, I need to put sides on these for that very reason, like a paper clip so that it's sturdy and hangs on. This can't go over here because it just doesn't go well there. All right, so I'm going to have to do some sewing and glue some stuff on here before I do the rest of the page. I might have to this is the only one that turned out really pink of the ones I did. Although, I do like this one. I wonder if that would look, does that look all right? Let's see. What have I got here? Is there another one? Ah, here we go. It's either this one or this one. I think I might like this one. So... What I will do is I will cut this at either an inch or an inch and a half. So they're almost the right height like I did the others. They don't quite, not all of them go quite to the top and the bottom. I will sew it around the edges, then I'll fold it over here and glue it. And then I will take a lovely paper clip of some sort and clip this on here um, so that it, it goes in the book. I think it needs to go in there. I need to use them up. Okay, guys, I think that's it for the moment. Now that I've gone down the rabbit hole, I'm going to go have another cup of coffee, listen for the hoot owls. I think these are the, the owls that woke me, well, they didn't wake me up, but um, I think the owls I heard outside, all my neighbors, um, they have a tower for their internet and they have a, a small dish on it and that tower is very tall. It's attached to the side of their house. Um, and that's where the pear sits on the very tippy top of the tower. And the reason I know that is because last year I took a floodlight and shined it on them and they hooted at me. <laughs> Turn the light off. Um, it was a pear and I thought they were siblings, but it's a mated pear. So they're back again. I took the light out again today, this morning at about... It was between 2.30 and 3. And um, I went out and took the floodlight and looked. And there they were on top of the neighbor's internet tower. And it was the pair again. I'm sure it was the same pair. That's an awesome thing. Not everybody gets to see things like that. I just, you know, insomnia has its perks. Not many. All right, guys, this is it. I will talk to you guys later, and I will update you on the different um, colored thingies whenever I work on them. I've decided not to work on this every day because there are other things that I'm obligated to do. So I thought maybe I would just come periodically and give you updates on the different colored signatures. Thanks for the suggestion of purple. Patricia, it's worked out well. And, and um, Janet, they both said purple. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. That's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.